The next step for creating your business, you are going to learn how to create a business model canvas. And I'm going to give you a brief overview of what that looks like right now. There are nine different categories for your business model canvas, and this lays out each of them in one easy to look at um, business model instead of having pages and pages, uh, just the high level, top level stuff to look at. So let's have a look at each thing. Um, I've numbered each box in the order that makes most sense to me to follow when doing them. And we're going to start here with your value proposition. So basically your value proposition is what is the problem that you're solving for your customers and who are those customers? What needs are you satisfying and for whom? So if you're building a product, this might be the product you're building. It might be the value proposition, but if it's a service that you're offering or a website, it might be that, um, there might be uh, something that your product does that others don't. So what is, what is it that makes it special? What is your value proposition? Next, we are going to have a look at your customers. That's number two. So over here, um, who is your ideal target customer that you plan or you think that will buy your product? Um, talk about them. What demographic are they in? Uh, are they a certain age or gender? Do they live in a certain area? Do they have certain interests? And who are they and why do you think that they want to buy your product or service? Um, is your product or service something that is mass market, meaning everyone wants it? Or does it have a niche market, meaning only certain people want to buy your product? Figure that out. There can be some really successful businesses that have some uh, niche markets where only certain people want to buy their product. The next thing you're going to investigate is how to get your product to the customer. And that's where you're going to talk about channels. So if you're building it, are you going to need to ship it to them? Um, are you going to, need, going to need to get your product from your factory into stores? Are you going to sell it directly online? How are you going to build the awareness of your product? Um, how are you going to get someone to purchase it? Is it going to be delivered directly to them? Is it an online store? Is it, do you need salespeople to help sell your product? Is it software? Does it need an app store? Things like that. Number four, we are going to looking at, look at your customer relationships. So how do you build relationships with your customers? Um, how do you create those relationships? Is it through advertisement? Is it word of mouth? Uh, once you have your customers, how do you keep them? How do you maintain that relationship? How do you grow your customer base so you're always getting more customers? And how do you help your customers feel connected to your product and interested in helping you promote it? Next, revenue streams. So where's the money coming from? So what is it that what is the value that your customers are paying for are they paying for a product are they paying for a certain level of use for example maybe it's free to start with but once they go to a pro, a pro level uh, they start to pay more is it a membership a monthly uh, subscription is it free but they have to look at advertising when they're using it there are lots of different ways that you can generate revenue, generate money, make money for your company. So what does that look like? That's step five. Step six in your uh, business model canvas is the key resources you need to run your business. So um, that is describing the infrastructure, infrastructure you'll need to create and deliver your product or service. Do you need money? As a resource, do you need factories? Do you need delivery trucks? Or maybe your idea is more intellectual. Maybe you need patents. So maybe you have an invention that's brand new and you want to get a patent on it. Do you, or do you need copyrights? Maybe it's um, some sort of maybe it's some sort of software or or um, a book or something like that. Do you need data? Maybe a lot of businesses generate uh, money through data and lists. Do you need human resources? Maybe you need employees to do certain things for you. You, you might be hiring a software developer, for example. 
Step seven of our business canvas is to look at your key partners. Not everything your business does can be done in-house. So what external partners do you need to help with your business uh, that you won't be able to do yourself? Your key partners are going to help um, help you. And for example, um, they might be suppliers, people who are supplying different things. You can outsource your entire uh, factory, uh, like you might have someone else manufacturing your product for you. You might need to buy materials. You might need someone, to, uh, a company to program your app. You might get advertisers involved. Your partners might be things like um, Facebook or Google for advertising. You might partner with different things. Governments, if, you're, uh, if your product is, is helping uh, in, a, in a specific area or a different country, you might partner with their governments. You might um, also work with charities, schools, or stores, for example. If you're developing something for the education market, perhaps you want to test it in a school, and they might be your key, one of your key partners. Next, step eight is to identify and identify the key activities that your uh, company uh, needs to do. What are the most important things they ne you need to do as a business to make your business model work? So, what do you, you need to ask your yourselves? What does your company need to become an expert at in order to uh, be successful? What types of actions or activities do your business need to do on a day to day? And uh, what act, are you doing such activities as uh, production of your product, solving different problems for people, uh, advertising, researching, R&D, that kind of stuff. And finally, step nine is your cost structure. Uh, especially uh, when it comes time to pitch your ideas, people are going to want to know where are the different or uh, what are the different costs that you guys are going to have to incur to create your product or service or company so are you spending money to develop it paying for programmers are there material costs for example if you're developing a product maybe you're paying for special materials maybe you have labor or factory costs or technology costs servers and whatnot to run in the background. So you need to come up with a cost structure. What does that all cost? And when you put these things all together, you have in one spot, a simple high level overview of your business model. And that's why we call it a business model canvas.